Hi guys, Retro Django here. Let's take a look at another YouTube channel donation. A look at this big ass drive for the Amiga. Uh, this is the first time I'm gonna uh, yeah, tr turn this drive on. Actually, I have never seen these drives on the Amigas uh, back in the day, so I was uh, I was pretty pretty surprised when I saw this. Uh, with uh, all the other Amiga 500 donations, so uh, let's take a look, guys. But before we uh, turn it on, I will disassemble it, of course, and look at the look at the insides first. All right, and the top is off. Uh, I also got an, an extra uh, one of these drives at the last one of the uh, donations. So as you can see, this uh, this extra drive got this big plug, and it seems like we have the same connection over here, um, and also you can see power here. This one, the the power plug is uh, disconnected, and I don't know why. And uh, this plug, I think it it's pretty obvious. It has to go in here. It's also disconnected. I think this is for the front, uh, maybe the LED lights and uh, the, the track, track LED display, but I will not plug it in. But uh, it, it needs some power, you know, so uh, yeah, I have to plug that one in, I think. And, um, and also, I don't know what these two does. Let's just leave it like this. Uh, and before I, before I just give it some power, I just want to check it and Oh I'm so happy I disassembled it first as you can see guys If you find 35 uh, 30 year old hardware, I think this will go here first all right let's power the thing this thing on uh, and this this got the beige front just like the cabinet here and the other one I got donated got a black front I'm really looking forward to see how this works with an Amiga so uh, my Amiga 600 is ready so let's Power this thing up and see what's if it if it works. All right, guys, I just turned the Amiga on, and oh my God, look at that track display! It's just awesome. All right, but uh, I have a problem. The screen says volume boot is not validated. Two seconds, guys. Volume boot is not validated. And I really don't know what that, that means. So if you have an idea, please help. No, it just said volume and boot is not validated. Hmm, don't really know what that means, but... Uh, well, I also got donated some uh, couple of games here. So, um, <laughs> let's try this. I mean, on the Amiga, I really never heard of this, but uh, yeah, look at the display, man. It's just awesome. <laughs> okay, I haven't cleaned anything. It's just, I have just opened the, the top here. As I see, it's got uh, many jumpers here. I don't want to play with them. Uh, I don't know what, um, maybe it's on and off and the other one, I don't know what that is for. But I really love that the, that the head unit moves, that's a good sign. But the thing is, I think this drive is really, really old and it's got some caps over here and I think those capacitors must be replaced. But, uh, alright, let, let's just try this. Well, this is... Supercars 2, one of my favorites, 
Let, let's see what's gonna happen. I mean, the display still says volume boot is not validated. And I can hear the internal drive clicking and also this clicking. So let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, whoa, track 40. Mm, it still says boot not validated. I, I, I'm just loving this tracking thing. Damn! Boot is not validated. Let's try another disc. I really have no idea what it is. Ports of call. Pang! I love Pang. SimCity 1 megabyte version. Oh, Turkey, my favorite. Gods, Defense of the Ground, Running Man. Secret of Monkey Island, more defenders, Walker, Walker, this three, Battle Squadron, oh my god, Hook, okay, let's try Battle Squadron. Now it's just the same. Um, so how do I validate this uh, boot drive? <laughs> I'll just, I'm gonna try reset and just start, let us start up with the disk in. No, same message. Volume boot is not validated. Damn. Well, I'll connect, connect the other one and see what's going to happen. All right. Um, I couldn't remove this one completely because it's got two wires that are soldered to this contact uh, on the right side. And I don't know what that does. So um, yeah, I just connected this drive. Uh, not cleaned anything. Let's just see about this boot validation. Powered on. And now oh, the same again. Volume boot is not validated, and I can see it press on retry ret or cancel. Well, I'll just put in a disk and see if they need it. Yeah, it spins. Uh, this one also spins, but nothing really happens. I'll put on an Amiga. 1200 and see what's going to happen. All right, guys, this is just an uh, Amiga 1200. I got do got donated YouTube donation, so uh, just 1200. Uh, no expansion card, no nothing in it. Um, yeah, let's see what's going to happen with the the extra drive that I got. So I just turned the power on and hmm, I just got the insert disk. Thingy, but it doesn't say nothing about boot validation. I was thinking about my Amiga 600 got the um, compact flash card inside, and when it said uh, boot validation, blah blah blah, and I said cancel, then it jumped off and said command T not found, blah blah. But this one just wants me to insert a disc. Uh, okay, last thing I uh, could do is just put in this one again and see what happens with the Amiga 1200. Uh, other than that, I really have no idea what to do. <laughs> so power up. And let's try to put in the other one. All right, guys, I just turned on my Amiga 1200. It's just a stock Amiga 1200 and it wants me to insert a disk. I can hear DF0 and DF1 clicking. And uh, this drive says track 0 and track 1. So let's just try a disk. This is called Goal Premier Teams. Yeah. 
track one. Oh, what the hell? It works. All right. The Mailman of Paradox presents gold premier teams. Skull Lotus for gold. Oh, this is an expansion disc. I have to use gold to load this. So what happens if I just press track 40, track 40. Not a dust disc in device DF1. Okay. Well, let's try another one. This is Rick Dangerous 2, so let's try that. Track 0, track 1. I know the Amiga 1200 can auto boot from DF1, so yeah. The only thing I'm, thing I'm thinking about if it was a better idea to put in a standard um, Amiga 500 with Kickstart 1.3, but uh, Let's just try it now. Okay, trip. Oh my god, it works! Why didn't it work with my Amiga 600? Um, Quick Dangerous 2, yeah, start game. Track 1. Track 1. It skips between track 0 and track 1. And the disc, the disc is spinning, but I, but something's wrong. I mean, uh, <laughs> it seems like the drive works now, but um, these 30 year old discs, I don't expect any one of them to work. <laughs> um, but it could be nice just to play one of the games, you know? Let's try just one last time. I mean, it, it reads something, it gives some information, but, but, but I think they're so damaged. I don't know if, uh, if it's possible to, to copy a game from normal Amiga discs and over here. No, because this is 720 kilobyte and it cannot be contained in this, so I can't just use xcopy and, and copy over. Hmm. Dear YouTubers, if you have any ideas, <laughs> please let me know. So what do we have here? We got Walker. I know Walker, uh, it's so new, so it works on a standard stock Amiga 1200 because I played it back then. So let's try this, track 0, track 1, oh yes, um, all right. let's press track 37, it keeps on 37, no. Now it's stuck on track 37 and it reset, reboots my Amiga. Uh, I think these old discs are just dead. Software failure. It reads something guys, but uh, when it has to load the game, Walker from Psychnosis, it just fails. Yeah, track 37, it gets stuck there. All right, guys, that's uh, my video of my big ass drive. It's not working. Uh, the, the drive is working, but um, it seems like the extra disc I got are, are old and dead. But that was also what I was expecting. So, uh, but fun to try, fun to film, fun to have it on YouTube. So until next time, play some Amiga, guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs>